Hey guys, it's been Absu here. I am soaking some sun in my garden, and in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how I made more than one lakh rupees in a month as a freelancer. So you can seek some inspiration out of this video, and you can start your own freelancing career. And hopefully, you can use my strategies and my processes along your journey, and you can use them to head start your freelancing journey. So yeah, let's get straight into the video, and let's get back to my room to our usual setup, and I will break down everything. that i have done in the past 6 months to reach at a point where i am today and at the end of this video i'm going to tell you three tips that you can use to boost your freelancing career in terms of getting more clients so make sure you watch this video till the end Hey guys welcome back to the channel and on this channel i upload videos related to content creation freelancing and marketing so if you're new here please consider subscribing so before i get into the nitty gritty of this video and i tell you exactly how i earned more than 1 lakh rupees in a month as a freelancer i want to tell you a quick back story so you can uh, get more context of where i come from and uh, you can kind of get connected with me on a more deeper level apart from all the money that i have made and all the strategies that i'm going to share with you guys okay so When I was in third year of my engineering college, I realized that uh, you know engineering is not something that I want to pursue. I just don't like programming. I don't like to code in front of a black screen for uh, continuously eight, ten hours, and that's what I will have to do if I kind of join a company or any multinational firm as a software engineer, right? So I was confused. I was exploring things out. I was doing all the things that can help me make money online, like freelancing, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, network marketing, whatever you can. think of like i have tried everything that uh, can help me escape this software engineering path when i was in third year back then in my engineering college right but i was not sure and i had no clear path on where i want to go and where i should go so for the back so i got a job i had an offer letter in my hand and it was december of 2019 okay and fast forward 3 months march 2020 covid hit our country the country is on lockdown i reached my home with all my stuff my college got over i got graduated in march and then i was here in my room sitting and thinking what i'm supposed to do i had a job to join in september 2020 that i absolutely hate and i just don't want to join even before i have even experienced a single day of how job looks like and how corporate world kind of works out so i was like okay let's set let's work on what i know and let's start learning and sharing it with the uh people using social media okay so i started in march and i started with creating content and i started building my personal brand starting in march 2020 so i had some basic knowledge of social media and marketing and how things work i was interested in it and i got hooked on marketing because of the mind because of my interest in psychology so i was like okay let's give it a try so i started creating content as i told you guys so what i'll do is i'll just jump straight into my instagram app and my profile and i will show you my profile how i started out and what kind of content i was creating back then as you can see i have scrolled past down on my profile over here and you can see this content right so when i started out i started creating content just by using canva basic templates of canva and i used to kind of put in my basic thoughts and basic uh, you know uh, tips and tricks of social media from instagram uh, from internet articles and i used to convert it into instagram post and i used to just publish it and that's it and that's what i i did for at least you know one and half or two months and then i was like okay i have got to upgrade my game i got to upgrade my designs and my post that i'm creating because there are a lot of people who are trying to grow their personal brand and if i kind of continue creating content on a very basic level i won't be able to reach where i want to okay so i so then i kind of shifted my designing software from canva to affinity designer and then if you can see this post this post here took me 10 hours to create because i have never used any designing software in my life in my in my life so i was like okay i, I got to do it anyways and it took me at least 10 hours uh, if i am remembering it uh, correctly but yeah so like that's the journey so i created post a lot of lot of post i was committed to creating post every single day Uh, and i was like i have to create post for next 6 months and i have to give it a hard try for next 6 months because i have a job to join in september 2020 which i just do want to join right so i was creating content as you can see over here i tried photoshop like uh, somewhere over here i shifted to photoshop 
and then I shifted to Illustrator for creating my content. I was experimenting with the videos as well. I was horrible in front of camera when I started out. But anyways, I got to give it a try. I just got to improve. I got to learn and then I got to share it with people. And I was sure that I got to do something in social media and marketing and psychology. So I was creating content and then uh, recently I kind of changed my theme if you can see over there here. I shifted from uh, you know black and yellow to black, white and kind of a subtle red. So yeah, that's all of my Instagram journey over here. And apart from this Instagram, I was learning things. I was learning social media, advertisement, how different things work, how to use hashtags, what are the good times to post, like very basic things that are required to grow, you know, and what colors to use, how to make designs better, how to get better in front of camera, how to edit videos, all those skills. I started and I kept learning them from last six months, from March 2020 till September 2020. All I did was create posts, create videos, create content, learn new things in social media world and shared it my and shared it with my audience, right? And along the process, my only goal was to improve and to get better in things and to gain new skills that I can monetize moving forward. And apart from this, I knew that yeah, okay, I am creating good content. I have a new things coming on my feed, Instagram feed every now and then. So I started leveraging other platforms that is LinkedIn and sometimes Twitter, sometimes uh, TikTok when it was not banned in India. So I was creating content on all the multiple platforms. And then I started outreaching people on LinkedIn for my social media services like content creation, social media handling, uh, marketing strategies and all those kind of things. And even Facebook advertisement because I was uh, pretty good at Facebook advertisement because I've been learning it from uh, uh, from past two years in my college so I was like okay let's outreach people and let's see if people are kind of looking for the kind of services that I have, have to offer right so for the next four months all I did is I approached people on LinkedIn using this search bar on LinkedIn homepage at the top of it so if you want to see exactly how I approach people on LinkedIn click the card above uh, I have created a separate video on how to outreach people on LinkedIn uh, and how to get in front of your potential clients and how to close them. Okay, so yeah, that's what I was doing. I was creating content. I was outreaching people on LinkedIn continuously every day, at least 10 to 15 people or uh, who are a kind of looking services that I have to offer. And I was messaging them. I was cold emailing people. I was uh, building connections and I was getting people on the call and I was explaining them how I can help them. And after the grant, after the hard work of at least three months i signed a client i signed a client he was from ukraine and uh, he had this uh, business of software as a service company where he was used to build software so i worked for him for two months and then something happened his business didn't work so he fired me or uh, he dissolved his business then i was like okay this is looking good i can sign clients every now and then but this is not sustainable i got to do something that is long term in order to quit my job right so uh, i just uh, kept doing things I kept approaching people and then in around uh, uh, August 2020 I kind of approached this one uh, girl and he is from Washington DC they are into real estate and they are looking for these services because real estate people are busy and they wanted someone to handle all their social media presence and videos and uh, you know pictures posts and all those kind of things so I was like yeah okay I can help them and uh, she was like okay let's get on a call and I closed them and uh, it's been four months since I've been working with them and I just signed a non-compete agreement with these guys because they absolutely love working with me. I love working with them and they just don't want me to work with someone else who are their competitors. So I built relationships with them in the past four months and now I have one solid client, right? And I signed them around uh, somewhere around thousand dollars. So that's uh, that, that equates to uh, around 74, 75,000. And if you cut some, all the fees that people and other uh, intermediate third party charges, it comes around 70,000. So that was my first plan and I still work with them. They are one of my solid clients that I work with. And then I kept repeating the process that I, I'm creating the content, I'm outreaching people, I'm getting better, I'm learning new things. And I'm just doing it every day consistently over and over again. I just knew that I got to execute and I just need consistency. I don't have to overthink. I just need to execute things, right? Then again, uh, I was approached by one startup in India. Uh, I, I didn't approach them. They saw my content on Instagram and they approached me in DMs and they were like, we like your content. Uh, we want someone who can create content for us and kind of help us grow our social media. So 
let's go to a call and discuss few things so i got on call with them and i discussed few things and then i closed them uh, around uh, 35 to 40000 rupees so these were two of my solid clients that i was working with and the real estate client that i talked about is the solid client that i'm still working with today and uh, i just had a conversation with them them uh, like a week ago and they are like okay let's start some kind of social media business for real estate people we can do it you can handle all the stuff and i can bring you sales because i have connections with the real estate people so that's how it works guys you have to put in the work every day consistently you have to create content you have to gain skills you have to get better at talking with people you have to get better at building connections and uh, just got to know how to talk to people and close them that's all you got to do don't overthink just get in the process get better earn new skills and start approaching people who you can offer your service to that's exactly how did it like there is no fluff this is the exact process that i took and i approached it with learning i just want to get better every day so i can kind of escape the thing that i just don't want to do that's how it happened and in Mar- in, in august i signed this real estate client and i knew that we have a really strong and solid connection and the collaboration so then in september 2020 i quit my job right so i'm not saying you uh, so i'm not saying to you guys that once you have two three uh, you know solid clients you you have to quit your job you just got to be aware of uh, where you are in your life and what you want from your life and then you can go about if you want to quit your job or not right but i am just i just want to tell you guys that it is possible it is not as hard as you think it is the process is easy you just got to stick to the process for a long period of time you just can't get a client in your first month you got to do it again and again for at least 5 6 months you got to get better and then i'm sure you will get your freelancing client and you will be able to start your freelancing journey that you wish from your heart and you don't want to do all the other things that surround you right so that's my complete story in a short where i told you exactly how i did it how i approached client how i created content how my content looks how i improved my content and like almost everything from the start So now I am working with my freelancing clients. I'm at my home, uh, and the goal is to scale my freelancing business from two, three clients to ten, fifteen, twenty, hundred clients, and build an agency where I can help people, and on the side start a business where I can teach people like yourself how to start a successful freelancing uh, career, starting from scratch. So yeah, that's all for this video. And if you found this video useful. please smash that like button so it can reach as many people as possible and can help them to start their freelancing journey and career and let me know in the comments below what type of videos you want me to create in the coming weeks and months because i am not going to stop i am just getting started the videos are going to come every week again and again and again so again subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments the type of content you want me to create in the coming days and i will see you guys in my next video